Welcome back uh, to a new session on data envelopment analysis. In the last session, we had seen uh, how to deal with inefficient DMUs, how to tell them uh, how should they become efficient and uh, in general what is the method of bringing them to the efficiency envelope. The example that we had seen was an example where we had two inputs and one output. Now let us take the re reverse case where we have two outputs and one input. We had seen this example earlier. So uh, if you recall, uh, there were five DMUs uh, which had uh, two outputs. The two outputs that were considered was uh, uh, they were sales, uh, uh, sales and the number of leads, number of leads. Those were the two outputs and the input was the budget. Everybody was given the same budget of uh, I think two lakhs uh, for every DMU. And uh, we saw using this budget, uh, how much sales are they able to generate and how many leads are they able to generate. And this was the graphical output. Right. Uh, and we have seen from the optimization output also that three DMUs turned out to be positive, three, four, five, DMU three, DMU four and DMU five turned out to be positive. The focus of this session is not on them. The focus of this session is on DMUs one and two. And uh, these are the DMUs that are not efficient because they are not sitting on the efficiency frontier. Right. Uh, so uh, DMUs one and two are inefficient. Uh, we saw that on the diagram. Right, so uh, we need to move these DMUs to the frontier. Right, uh, these DMUs have to move to the frontier so that we can call them efficient. And when they hit the frontier, what are we going to call that point? We are going to call that point hypothetical composite unit, very similar to the approach that we had taken in the previous session. Right, so uh, from the two, uh, two dimensional uh, graph, uh, it is very easy to find the coordinates of HCU because what you are going to say is uh, similar approach, draw a line from origin draw a line from origin, connect uh, the point and hit it on the uh, frontier. This will be the hypothetical composite unit for DMU1. So this will be the hypothetical composite unit for DMU1. Similarly, draw a line from origin, pass it through the point number two, make it uh, hit the frontier. This will be the hypothetical composite unit for two. And uh, we already know geometrically how to find the coordinates of uh, HCU. right? Uh, so uh, this is the same diagram drawn better, uh, not scribbling. So uh, uh, we, sh we should be able to find the coordinates of hypothetical composite 1 and hypothetical composite 2 uh, using simple geometry. Uh, so uh, draw. Uh, so essentially we know that for DMU 1, uh, DMU 4 and 5 are the reference units, DMU 4 and DMU 5 are the reference units. So we should be able to find the equation of this line which passes through DMU 4 and DMU 5. We should be able to find the equation of a line which is this blue dotted line which is uh, passing through origin and passing through DMU1 and this HCU1 is a point of intersection of these two lines or being strictly correct uh, we should say these two segments. So here, uh, similarly uh, uh, for DMU2, DMU5 and DMU3 are the reference units. So we should be able to find the equation of this uh, red segment uh, which passes through uh, 3 and 5. Uh, we should be able to find that equation. Similarly, we should be able to find an equation of a line which passes through origin and DMU2 and uh, therefore uh, HCU2 is a point of intersection of these two line segments. right? And therefore geometrically it should be easier to find the coordinates. Uh, we can show you, right? Uh, graphically I, we can, we, it can be shown that coordinates of DMU1, coordinates of DMU1 are uh, apparently 11 lakhs, 10,000 and 15 which essentially means that using the budget of 2 lakhs, uh, DMU1 is able to generate a sales of 11 lakhs as well as uh, leads, uh, number of sales leads of 15. Uh, for DMU1, DMU4 and 5 are the reference units, uh, 4 and 5 are the reference units and uh, using the press, uh, uh, process that I just now described, uh, you should be able to establish that uh, the HCU, the hypothetical composite unit for 1 should have these coordinates 16 lakhs 26,000 and 21.97. What does that mean in the context of our problem? It means that if DMU1 wants to be called efficient, it needs to increase its output. This is only the example of two output and a single input. We are not recommending uh, DMU1 to reduce the budget. Everybody gets a budget of 2 lakhs, so no change there. But we definitely want DMU1 to increase its output. So output should increase from the current level of 11 lakhs 10,000 to the new level of 26 lakhs and 26,000. 
Currently, uh, the uh, DMU is generating only 15 leads. Uh, to be called efficient, it should actually generate 21.97, almost close to 22 sales leads. Okay, so this is the geometric interpretation. What is the analytical interpretation? For analytical interpretation, we have to go to the uh, optimization output. And uh, just like uh, we did for uh, just like uh, we did for the two input case, uh, we look at the uh, we look at the objective function and we look at the shadow prices. We look at the shadow prices. Uh, so uh, I will take you to Excel in a moment, but I can tell you that the dual variable uh, values uh, are 0 0.449 and 0 0.233. Let us go to Excel to see that. So let me take you to Excel. This is the Excel. This is the DMU1. Uh, this is the DMU1. Uh, the problem is already solved. The optimization problem is already solved. Okay. Now the DMU1 has reported a objective function of 0 0.682. Clearly it is inefficient. I look at the sensitivity report for DMU1 and for DMU1 there are two dual variables which are non-zero. There are other dual variables which are zeros. I don't pay attention to them. These are the two dual variables which are non-zero. They correspond to L14 and L15. L14 is this. L14 is this which is for DMU4. L15 is this which corresponds to DMU5. So now we know that for DMU1, DMU4 and 5 are the reference units. What are the dual variables corresponding to that? Dual variables corresponding to that are 0 0.449 and 0 0.233. But now we have a problem. If you add up the two dual variables, so we will say 0 0.449 plus 0 0.233, it doesn't add up to 1. However, there is a peculiar thing that we observe. It actually adds up to the objective function value. Okay, so this value and this value are the same. So the dual variable values, unlike in the two input example, here the dual variable values don't add up to one, they add up to the efficiency value. So how do you convert them? Actually, you don't take the dual variables directly into calculations. You divide this dual variable by the objective function value. So how do you do this? So you divide the uh, dual variable 0.449 by the objective function value which is 0.682 and you divide the other dual variable by the objective function value and you scale them to 1. Now if you add them up, you will realize that it adds up to 1. So once again, uh, unlike the two input example, uh, you cannot directly take shadow prices, you cannot directly take the dual variable values in your HCU calculations directly because they don't add up to 1. They add up to only the value which is reported as the efficiency value for DMU1. So we need to scale these dual variable values and the way to scale them is to divide by the efficiency value. So 0.449 gets divided by 0 0.682, 0 0.233 gets divided by 0.682 and the scaled dual variable values now add up to 1. So we are not going to use the raw dual variable values. We are actually going to use the scaled dual variable values to calculate our HCU. So let us see that calculation. Remember these values now. Remember 0 0.658 and 0 0.341. You don't have to remember 0 0.449 and 0 0.233. Remember 0 0.658 and 0 0.341 as the scaled dual variable values and let us take you back to PPT. So the raw dual variable values, the raw dual variable values are actually 0.449 and 0.233. But as we saw, they don't add up to 1 as they did in the two input example. So we have to scale them by dividing by the efficiency value. And now we get the scaled weights, which are 0 0.658 and 0 0.342, 0 0.658 and 0 0.342 for DMUs 4 and 5 respectively. Now the method is very clear. We saw uh, the method in uh, in case of two input example. So how are we going to calculate the HCU, uh, the hypothetical composite unit for one using the scaled dual variable values. It's very clear. Uh, uh, we have seen that method uh, when we looked at the two input example. Now, now we are going to calculate the coordinates of HCU using the dual variable which are scaled dual variable 0 0.658 and 0 0.342. Okay, so let us see this. For DMU1, we know that uh, the reference uh, DMUs are 4 and 5. So this is the, these are the coordinates of 4, these are the coordinates of 5. Dual variables are 0 0.658 and 0 0.342. And how do you calculate uh, the uh, coordinates of the HCU? The coordinates of HCU, first of all, sales. 
sales are uh, uh, sales uh, value is same uh, 2 lakhs for dmu4 2 lakhs for dmu5 gets multiplied by 0.658 gets multiplied by 0.342 you are going to get the same 2 lakhs so we don't recommend uh, uh, dmu1 to change its input input can be 2 lakhs budget used uh, the sales uh, dmu uh, dmu4 had a sale of 12 lakh 24000 dmu5 had a sale of 24 lakhs multiply that by the corresponding weights you get the coordinates of uh, uh, hcu for dmu1 in terms of sales very similar process 23 where the number of leads generated by dmu4 23 20 where the leads generated by dmu5 multiply that by the corresponding scale, uh, weights and you will get the uh, expected number of leads to be done by dmu1 which is 21.97 now just to confirm this 16 lakhs 26000 and 21.97 are similar to what we got using the graphical method. Using the graphical method, 20, 16 lakhs 26,000 and uh, 21.97. Right uh, here we had 0.94, but uh, uh, these were just round off uh, uh, things. I, I did not round them off completely. So uh, we are getting same values, same values that we got from geometric method. How do we interpret this now? Currently, DMU1 is using a budget of 2 lakhs. DMU1 is actually generating a sale of 11 lakhs 10,000 and DMU1 is generating leads of 15. Now, DMU1 has to increase its output, increase its output by uh, 5 lakh rupees in sales and almost 7 more leads to be generated. Only then, we will call DMU1 as an efficient DMU. Hope that is, this explanation is clear. The only change that we have made from the previous session are the dual variable weights. Now the dual variable weights are not, not the raw weights that come from the Excel output. We have to scale them so that they add up to 1. That is the only change we have made. Okay, Let us quickly look at DMU2. Let us quickly look at DMU2. DMU2, the reference units are 3 and 5. Reference units are 3 and 5. Right? Uh, let us look at the Excel for that. Let us look at the Excel for that. So let me take you to Excel, LP2. So this is the linear programming problem for DMU2. DMU2 had a reported uh, objective function of 0 0.60, which means it is inefficient. I will look at the sensitivity report for DMU2. DMU2, there are two dual variables which are non-zero. One corresponds to L13, the next corresponds to L15. These are the two, these are the two dual variables which are non-zero. L13 corresponds to L13 corresponds to DMU3 and L15 corresponds to DMU5. So for DMU2, 3 and 5 were the reference units which is also evident from the graphical output. Now what are the dual variable values? Dual variable values are 0.27 and 0.335. Unfortunately, 0 0.27 and 0.33 do not add up to 1. If you would say 0.27 plus 0.33 they don't add up to 1 but they add up to the efficiency value which was 0 0.609 0 0.609 it it adds up to the efficiency value so how do you scale the dual variables you scale the dual variables by dividing them by the efficiency value so you scale it you divide the efficient uh, you scale the uh, dual variable by dividing by the efficiency so 0 0.27 divided by 0.6 and then 0 0.33 divided by 0.60. Okay, so your new dual variables, the scaled dual variables are 0 0.449 and 0 0.551, right? 0 0.449 and 0 0.551. 449 for DMU3, 551 for DMU5. Let us go back to PPT. 0 0.449 for 3, 551 for 5. Like for DMU2, we have seen that the uh, reference are uh, DMU3 and DMU5. DMU3 and DMU5, these are the corresponding weights. 449 for DMU3, 551 for DMU5. Remember, these are the scaled dual variables and not the raw dual variables. The coordinates of DMU3 are 34 lakhs 50,000 and uh, 12 leads. Uh, for 5, it is 24 lakhs and 20 uh, leads. Uh, so, how are we going to calculate the coordinates of HCU for DMU2? Uh, it is going to be the values multiplied by the corresponding weights. DMU3 has a budget of 2 lakhs multiplied by the weight of DMU3. DMU5 has a budget of 2 lakhs multiplied by the weight of DMU5. 
and uh, obviously DMU2 is expected to have a budget of 2 lakhs, no change there. Uh, DMU3 is uh, generating a sale of 34 lakhs multiplied by the weight of DMU3. DMU5 is generating a sale of 24 lakhs multiplied by the weight of DMU5 and therefore this is the expected sales from H uh, DMU2. We expect DMU2 to have a sale of 28 lakhs and 71,000 something. Similarly, DMU3 generates uh, leads of 12, 12 leads generated, multiply that by the uh, weight of DMU3, uh, DMU5 has a lead uh, leads of 20, multiply that by the weight of uh, DMU5 and then we expect DMU2 to have 16.4 leads. How what is DMU2 doing actually? DMU is consuming a budget of 2 lakhs, no change, right, same budget it is consuming. However, it is generating a sale of only 17 lakhs. It is expected that DMU2 generates a sale of 28,71,000. So what should DMU2 do to become efficient? We are going to say that DMU2 should increase the sale by 11 lakhs. Similarly, DMU2 should increase the number of leads by uh, 6, right, 6.4. 6. Okay, it should increase the leads by 6.4 and that is how you calculate the coordinates of HCU and once you find the coordinates of HCU, you can have prescription for DMU2. If DMU2 asks us, tell me what should I do to become efficient? Well, we can clearly see from the table that DMU2 should definitely increase its sales, definitely increase the number of leads that it is able to generate. So that is how you calculate the HCU in case of two outputs and a single input. The only difference being now we have scaled the dual variables. They are not, we are not using the raw dual variables and we will end the session here. Thank you.